Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, here to before here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this story we'll be going ahead and building the Mikoyan MiG-31. The Mikoyan MiG-31, we going by their NATO reporting name Foxhound, is a supersonic interceptor aircraft developed for use by the Soviet Air Forces. The aircraft was designed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau as a replacement for the earlier MiG-25 Foxbat. The MiG-31 is based on and shares design elements with the MiG-25, and the MiG-31 has the distinction of being one of the fastest combat jets in the world. It continues to be operated by the Russian Air Force and the Kazakhstan Air Force following the end of the Cold War and the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. The Russian Defense Ministry expects the MiG-31 to remain in service until 2030 or beyond. The aircraft was first introduced in 1981 and is still in service uh, with both the Russian um, Air Force and the Kazakhstan Air Force. Um, so yeah, really interesting aircraft, uh, one of these aircraft I didn't really know too much about until, you know, coming along and building it and everything like that. Um, but I'm really happy that I did because it's a really beautiful aircraft. It has a kind of, um, you know, in-between look, you know, you have the really modern sleek looking jets, but then you also have the Cold War jets where a little bit more bulkier, a little bit more kind of rudimentary, I guess. And, you know, it does, you know, you still have the modern look with this jet, but it still has that Cold War feeling to it. Um, which is something I love about those kind of, you know, 1980s, 1970s jets is that they're not super sleek and modern and all that stuff, but they still do look modern in a sense, if you get what I'm saying. Um, overall, it's a really cool looking aircraft um, and a fun addition because we've been doing a lot of the MiGs lately in, on, the, on the tutorial world and just in on the channel in general. Um, so that's also really cool stuff um, there. So a nice one to add to your lineup there. And uh, just recently doing the MiG-21, and this thing is so much bigger compared to that little MiG-21, which is really surprising to me. Um, anyways, uh, before we go ahead and take a look at the build itself, I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this tutorial possible. And if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount to the channel every month. And uh, in doing so, you earn a vehicle request of your choice, and then you also uh, basically donate a little bit to the channel, you know, basically funds the channel a little bit I guess you know it's a nice little tip I guess you can say for all the builds and stuff like that um, that we put out on this channel so um, thank you all to of my patreon supporters and if you're interested feel free to check it out link is of course down in the description anyways let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this aircraft and see exactly what we got going on here um, overall I really love the way it came out looks absolutely awesome so the color scheme we have here is uh, very kind of similar to I guess the MIG where the MIG had, MIG had some green mixed in it and this one kind of follows that same design uh, we have a green tip nose here we have a little bit of green going on the vertical stabilizers here and then we also have uh, some green here on the tips of the little bottom uh, stabilizers there on the bottom um, so just a little accents of green looks really good and this was actually from actual pictures of it as well and from my knowledge I believe they are all Russian because they all have the they all have the Soviet star on the back there so pretty sure that they were all good to go there uh, but also uh, we have the little numbering also in red so you can really kind of see the you know similarities I guess or the evolution of the Russian uh, MiGs and stuff like that uh, with you know having kind of like the same accents and stuff like that. Uh, with the MiG-21 and MiG-31 here. And just to give you a general idea for the size, that's the MiG-21. This is the MiG-31 absolute beast um, of an aircraft compared to that uh, MiG-21, which I completely never expected the MiG-21 to be as small as it actually is. Um, so pretty cool stuff here. Um, obviously lots of detailing and stuff like that on the front here. Uh, moving back, we have the pilot, and it also has a, um, I guess you can say co-pilot, but their official term is a weapons officer. So. They uh, obviously operate the weaponry and all that stuff. Um, as we work our way back, we have obviously the wings here on both sides. Um, pretty nice overall um, shaping there, nothing too fancy to cover there. And then we come back to the tail, we got the two vertical stabilizers here. Um, again, kind of like that modern jet type design, having the two stabilizers. And then we also have the horizontal stabilizers both sides, and it's got two uh, jet engines here. Um, obviously making it uh, very fast and uh, this aircraft actually being one of the fastest actually out there um, currently in service. Uh, on the bottom here we have a very interesting loadout so we got some air-to-air -air missiles here on the wings but we also have some of these um, other uh, 
I believe they're missiles. I've seen pictures with like all four of these launching at once, so I think they're pretty uh, crazy big, uh, you know, missiles or whatever, because they are. Uh, this aircraft is capable of attack being an attack aircraft, so ground attack. So I think that this, that's what these missiles might be, just really big, heavy-duty missiles that will pack a big punch. I don't know the name of them, but I did see a lot of pictures with the MiG-31 carrying them, so I decided to go and put these on. And we have four down here, though, um, real life, it could carry six. It's just with Minecraft blocks and the spacing, um, it's just not really able to fit six in there. But realistically, real life, they would be able to fix, fit six, but uh, there are also some pictures with it only carrying four. So kind of up to you guys on what you guys want to do down there. Um, overall, I really love the MiG-31. I think it came out great. Down here, you can see we also have a landed version. So we will be doing a landed and in-flight version of the MiG-31 for all those guys, all those of you guys that want to have this thing land at your airbase or whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, so go ahead and move into our first layer. We're we'll going to be going ahead and beginning with layer three. The reason why we're beginning with layer three is we kind of get a little bit more of a firm basis established in this layer rather than going ahead and starting off with layer one, which is basically just going to be the very bottoms there of those bombs. So a little bit easier to get a general idea for the size of the aircraft while also getting a good foundation set up for us to go and build. Now also, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is you can see the left side of the aircraft already built. Since this aircraft is completely symmetrical on both sides, we're gonna basically build the center line and then build the right side uh, over on the other side of it. So basically you have the two sides here and um, you'll be able to take the right side and copy it over um, in between layers. And it's pretty straightforward. Once we kind of get building and stuff like that, it'll kind of come a little bit easier and make a little bit more sense. Um, anyways, for us to go ahead and get started, we also want to take in consideration if you want to have the landed version. Now, if you're just building this in the in-flight uh, position, just like this, then you can obviously feel free to completely disregard this. Uh, but if you are building this landed, we're going to be, make sure that we want to have a total of three blocks off the ground, and then we're going to start our iron trap door. Now, you want to notice that this iron trap door here is basically on the top portion of the block. It's not on the bottom, like that. So you want to make sure that it's on the top portion, like so. Basically, uh, from the very front nose here, which is basically from the bottom of the next layer, layer four. Uh, you're gonna have three blocks of space here from the ground and a, uh, you can see the ground here in orange and this row of black wool representing the uh, space in between the ground and this section here. So very important to make sure that that's correct if you're building this thing landed as you obviously do not want this thing floating too high off the ground or too low, so make sure that that's correct. Anyways, if you're building this in uh, the air, disregard that, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. So to begin with, we're gonna place down a row Four of iron trap doors and you want to make sure that these iron trap doors are on the bottom of the row above or on the top portion of the block to the side. Very important that that is the case because you obviously you don't want the uh, iron trap doors not lined up. After those four iron trap doors we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stone brick top slabs back followed by three cobblestone walls. We then want to place down a row of three of iron trap doors back for the thing is, uh, also these iron trap doors, again, on the top portion of the block space, so coming off the top of those cobblestone walls. We then want to go ahead and uh, go back a space of one, two, and three blocks, and then we're going to place down a narrow row three of cobblestone walls. We can delete these placeholder blocks, so we have a space of three here between this cobblestone wall, this iron trap door, and that's going to do it there for the very center line of the aircraft. From this point here, whatever we build on the right side is going to be copied over on the, on the left side, so basically mirrored over from what we do on the right side. To begin with, we're going to go, and go to the second stone brick uh, top slab here from the front, and obviously, in case you haven't figured it out already, uh, the front of the aircraft is up here. Um, so we're going to go and place down an iron trap door that comes off the stone brick top side of the side, followed by one, two, and three iron trap doors back. We're going to go and grab some stone brick uh, slabs, place down one, two, and three stone brick top slabs. Once that's done, we're going to place down a row of two of, or sorry, row of three of their brick up stairs. So just like this. On the side there and it's going to kind of create these little hard points here on the bottom which are going to be using to connect these bombs up to or these those missiles up to um in the uh, bottom two layers uh after that's done we're going to take our stone brick top slabs go back one two three and four stone brick top slabs back followed by one and two iron trap doors back after that's done there we're going to place down a row of one and two and three never break up sit on stairs and then we just want to take our iron trap doors and place down a row of one and two back like that. So it's going to stick past this cobblestone wall here in the middle by one. As you can see, this row right here is identical to the left side. So you're just going to be taking this row, copy it over to the other side, flipping it over, and um, your stairs will be uh, facing each other. The 
with the backs of the stairs facing furthest away from the cobblestone walls. Uh, with that done, we're going to go up here to this uh, stone brick top slab here. We're going to place down an iron trap door out at the side. Once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, second iron trap door back. And then when we get to this point here, we're going to be placing down a stone brick upside down stair. So we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair that's coming off this iron trap door like so. And actually, my bad, it needs to come off of it like this. So the stone brick upside down stair like that. After the stone break ups and down stair going back from it, we're replaced on there ups and down stair, and one after is to have a corner stair, two regular stairs back, just like that. Uh, once that's done, after those two stone break stairs and the corner stair, we're replaced on a row of one, two, three, four, five, uh, cobblestone, or sorry, we have five stone break tops up so far, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen stone break tops that's back. So it's gonna stick past this iron trap door here by one. Let me go ahead and just double check the count here to make sure that's correct. And yes, it is 13 stone brick tops. That was back from the stone brick stair. Uh, once that's done here, on this back section here, we're going to place down a uh, stone brick up down stair. Coming off the stone brick top set, followed by a polished anti block behind it. And we're going to have in total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 polished anti blocks back from the stone brick up down stair. We're then going to place down a another stone brick up down stair on this side, followed by a stone brick top set, and then an iron trap door like that coming off that stone brick top set. With that all wrapped up, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next row out to the side. We want to go ahead and place down a iron trap door, come off this one to the side here, followed by a second iron trap door back from it. We then want to take our stone brick top slabs and we're just going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 stone brick top slabs back, followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, and 4 iron trap doors back after that. Once you have that done, over on the right side, you're going to take that same design, flip it over the left side. So basically, you should get something that looks just like this from up above here for uh, layer number three. With that done, we're going to go ahead and move on to layers uh, one and two. We're going to basically put the bombs of the back fins on and put these bombs on and all that fun stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and move into layers one and two. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to layers one through two. Going ahead and moving into these layers here, we're going to be going ahead and basically building these bombs on the bottom here. So for us to go ahead and get started here, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to these cobblestone walls. We're going to place down two cobblestone walls coming down from the first two, and then we just want to place down a skeleton skull coming off the second cobblestone wall. So you have something that looks like that uh, coming down from those cobblestone walls. And again, that's your front one up here, like so. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the side of these cobblestone walls, and this is going to be done on the same sides on both sides, we're going to place down two uh, stone set full blocks like that. After that step, we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off this cobblestone wall here in the middle. To both sides, we're going to place down two gray concrete blocks forward, followed by a stone slab full block. And then we want to place down a cobblestone wall, followed by a skeleton skull coming off that cobblestone wall. Uh, back here, going toward the rear, we're going to place down a uh, gray concrete block going back, and then a wither skeleton skull on the end here. Uh, when that's done there, you can see you have the middle uh, done right in there, and you have your bomb to the side here. So after our missile looks uh, something just like this, we want to go ahead and then start working our way out to the side. We're going to place down a sign over here on this cobblestone wall, and we also want to grab ourselves a stone button and also a skeleton skull. We're going to place down a stone button on this first um, gray concrete block here, and then a skeleton skull after it. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves cobblestone walls, and we're going to place down one and two cobblestone walls back, followed by a skeleton skull just like that. Once that's done, on the bottom of these two stone slab full blocks, we're going to place down two stone top slabs, and then a skeleton skull coming off up like this on the back here. You're going to take the same design for the missile, copy it over to this side, and you'll have your missile here for both sides uh, for the front. You then want to go back here to this section and repeat the same process. So we have our two cobblestone walls, our skeleton skull, our sto two stone slab full blocks, the skeleton skull coming off this cobblestone wall toward the back here, and we also want one coming off of it toward the front here. Once that's done, we're gonna go and take our gray concrete, two forward, stone slab full block, cobblestone wall, and a skeleton skull. Going toward the back here, a gray concrete block, followed by a wither skeleton skull. Going down to the bottom here, two stone slab top slabs, and then a skeleton skull like that on the back there. We then want to place down an iron trap door going forward and a stone button like that on the bottom of this uh, gray block here and also right here and also in the front I forgot to do that iron trap door right here and then the stone button right there. Um, once that's done on the sides here we're going to go and place down a skeleton skull coming off this uh, gray uh, concrete block followed by two cobblestone walls back and then a uh, skeleton skull here on the rear just like that. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side and you have your two sets here of missiles all set up and ready to go. 
With that done, we want to go and then go to our little fins here on the back. We're going to go and go down from this polished nanosite block. Place down a dark liquid stair like this, followed by a green terracotta block back, a dark liquid stair back, and then we're just going to place down a stone brick top slab. With that all complete, that's going to wrap up layers uh, one through two. As you can see, we have our bombs in place, and we also have the fins here um, set up and ready to go. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and move up to layer four of the build and uh, continue on with the tutorial. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down a polished andesite block on top of this iron trap door. Come off this polished andesite block toward the front, we're going to place down two green terracotta blocks, two dark oak with top slabs, and then a wooden trap door right down the very end there to create the front of the nose. Going back from this green terracotta block here that's basically sticking one past these iron trap doors we placed in their previous layer. We're going to be placing down, uh, we already have one polished andesite block, but we're going to go ahead and count it. We have one, two, three, four, and uh, we're going to count so on with our polished andesite blocks. And we're going to go all the way back here until we have a row of 25. So 25 polished andesite blocks back, and it's going to end on top of this cobblestone wall here that the bombs uh, have connected up to this middle hard point uh, for um, all that. So with that done there, after that row of, I believe it was 25 polished andesite blocks from that green terracotta block, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Stone brick top sides back, followed by 1, 2, and 3 iron trap doors back from that. <clears throat> after that's all done, we're going to go up to the front and work our, ways out, work our way out to the side now. So for this, we're going to place down a dark oak with top sab on both sides of this first green terracotta block. Going back from it, we're going to place down a dark oak with upside down stair facing that direction like so. We then want to take our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three stone brick up sound stairs that go back from this dark oak wood uh, up sound stair, creating a corner stair out of that stair. We then want to take polished down side blocks, place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, and 31 polished andesite blocks, um, or sorry, my bad, it's actually going to be uh, 29. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to, let me go ahead and just get a double check here, and yes, it's 29 back. And then once we get to this point here, we're gonna take our stone brick stairs, and we're gonna place down one, two, and three upside down stone brick stairs, followed by another brick upside down stair like this, and then a second near brick upside down stair, and then a near brick top sub like that, coming off that stair like that. Uh, once that's uh, done there, uh, we have that row done. We're going to go ahead and go up to the um, front here and work our way out to the side again. So for this point here, we're going to go ahead and go to this polished andesite block. So just to go ahead and get a count, this is going to be your seventh polished andesite block back from the, from the snow brick stairs up in the front there. We're going to place down an end rod that comes off of it to the side. We then want to skip a space of two blocks of space, and we're going to place, then place down a stone brick upside down stairs. So two spaces of... Uh, Basically two full spaces here between this end rod and stone brick stair. After the stone brick stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a block, of, or uh, just a black wool block. And then we're going to take our polished andesite, go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Polished andesite blocks back. After uh, that's all done there, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down um, a continuous row of polished andesite. So after that, we have 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 polished andesite blocks back. We then want to place down a glowstone block like this, and then a orange stained glass block, which is going to go around this iron trap door here. Once that's done, we're going to take our nether brick slabs, and we're going to place down one and two nether brick slabs coming off that orange stained glass block, just like that. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and move back up to our side intakes and continue working out to the side here. So for this, coming off this end rod, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. Just like that, coming off of it, followed by a stone brick top slab coming off of it toward the front. Going back from that stone brick stair, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 polished andesite blocks back. After those 17 polished andesite blocks, we're going to take stone brick stairs, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, stone brick uh, stairs upside down stairs back and then we want to place down a row of one two and three another brick upside down stairs like that going back there uh, once that's all done there we have so far our uh, kind of center here the fuselage built up and ready to go and we're uh, looking good so far 
So when we reach this point here, we're going to go ahead and start from the front here on the side, this outside row on the um, intakes here. We're going to go ahead and go this polished anti block, and we want to go ahead and count back to your 11th polished anti block back. So we have our, our 11th block back. So again, just to go ahead and double check here, we have our 11th block that's going to be right here. Now coming off this 11th block, we're going to place down a skeleton skull to the side of this block, and then we then want to take our cobblestone walls and go back one, two, and three cobblestone walls back, followed by a wither skeleton skull like this, coming off this polished anti block like that on the side there. After that's done, we're going to take our stone break uh, slabs. We're going to go to this third stone break stair right here. We're going to place down a top side coming off of it, followed by one, two, three, four, and five stone break slabs back from that. Uh, for our next row out to the side, we're going to go to the second stone break top side. We're going to go ahead and do one, then two, three, four, and five back. So you have a row of six here, then a row of five. We then want to go ahead and then do a row of five again. So this is going to be indented going to the second stone brick top step. One, two, three, four, and five back like that. After uh, that's done there, we're going to go ahead and do a row of four. So indent from the front here. One, two, three, and four. After that, we're going to do a row of four uh, again. So we're going to go, ahead and go out to the side here. Go to the second stone brick top step back. A row of four back like so. We then want to do a row of three, so one, two, three, indent from the front there, and then one stone brick top side, come off the middle one, like that for the back there, and that's going to do it there for your horizontal stabilizer. You're going to take that same design, obviously, on the air side. With that all done, uh, we're going to go ahead and move into our missiles that are mounted onto the wings, so the air to air missiles. Uh, for these, they're really simple and kind of the traditional design I use for air to air missiles. They're not anything fancy by all means, but they get the job done and I mean, you can obviously tell what they are looking at them, so that's pretty much the main goal here. Now, for us to go ahead and get started here, we need to go ahead and go to uh, basically this uh, this uh, skeleton skull right here. Now, we want to go ahead and go to the side of it, and we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate that's kind of coming off of it, kind of like this, right off the front of it, like so. And then we want to place down a sign on the side of this dark oak fence gate toward the rear of the aircraft, so facing toward that direction there. When that's done there, we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair. Or, uh, sorry, a quartz full block next to it, so my bad. It's going to be a quartz full block like this. And then we want to go ahead and place down a quartz upside down stair coming off that quartz full block. Uh, with that done on both sides of this quartz full block, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. We then want to go ahead and continue to work our way to the side here. And place down a dark oak fence gate coming off the quartz full block to the side here. With a sign coming off that, um, that uh, dark oak wood fence gate. And then also a wither skeleton skull on the back of that quartz full block. Uh, going ahead and going toward the front, we're going to place down in one, two, and three quartz top subs going to the front. And on both sides of these three quartz top subs, we're going to be placing down wooden signs like this on the sides of them, just to make the missile a little bit thicker. So just like that. After that's done, we're going to then going to place down a stone brick top sub on the front here, followed by a dark oak wood fence gate that's going to come off both sides of the top slab so just like that and then we just want to place down a skeleton skull coming off the quartz top slab in the front there for the very tip there of the missile uh with that done our second missile here is going to come off of this dark oak fence gate and we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate coming off of it uh like this and flicked toward the outside or opened up toward the outside coming off that uh dark oak fence gate we're going to place down a quartz top slab followed by a skeleton skull forward and then on the other side of the top slab toward the outside the aircraft we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate also opened up toward the top slab we then want to go ahead and go back one two and three quartz top slabs back followed by wooden sides here on the side there of those three quartz top slabs so like this along the side here all the way like that once that's done we then want to go ahead and place down another upside down quartz stair quartz full block right behind it and then uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull to both sides of this stair. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to take our dark oak fence gate. We're going to place down a dark oak fence gate like this. Come off this block of coal or this uh, block of quartz here on both sides. And we then want to place down signs here. Come off those two wooden dark oak fence gates. And then a wither skeleton skull like that. Come off that quartz full block. Uh, once uh, that's done there, we do want to go ahead and do one last thing. And this is going to be part of the tip of the wing. So coming off this dark oak fence gate here. Uh, we want to go ahead and go four blocks out to the side. So same thing over here. We're going to go one, two, three, and four blocks out to the side. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick slabs and also some iron trap doors. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab 
followed by a second top slab toward the back here, iron trap door on both ends of those two stone brick top slabs. And with that, we can delete any placeholder blocks that we place down. And you can see what we have over here on the right side. You can see a kind of nice general uh, kind of look and kind of a good idea on how big this aircraft actually is um, at this point of the tutorial. Um, you will have basically this you're going to take over here, copy it over to the other side, and you'll have um, what looks like this when you have that all complete and ready to go. Anyways, that's going to wrap up layer uh, number um, four. And with that, let's move on to layer five. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five, for us to go ahead and begin here, we're going to place down a uh, stone brick stair that's going to be on top of this wooden trap door that we placed down in the previous layer. With that done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab, coming off this dark oak wood stair going toward the front, followed by three end rods going forward for the uh, very point here of the nose. With that done, going to from the back of the uh, dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four green terracotta blocks back, followed by two polished landscape blocks after that. This right here comes to a point where you guys can kind of pick and choose, so if you do want to have a little bit of an interior in the build, you can feel free to do so. Um, for this, you're going to want to go ahead and leave a space of one, two, three, four, five, and six open right here so that you can go ahead and put pilot seats or whatever you want to do. Remember that you have a pilot and you also have a navigator or a um, weapons officer located back here. So uh, make sure that obviously you have enough space here. Um, you can choose to fill this in with polished anesthetic if you don't care or you know whatever you want to do, but um, you do want to have six blocks of space here either filled in or left open. Anyways, after that six, those, uh, no, those uh, six blocks of space here, we're going to go ahead and go back with a row of polished anisite. That's going to go all the way back to the back here um, in a row of 27 and end on top of this iron trap door uh, right here, the second to last one. And on the next iron trap door, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair back, followed by a narrow brick slab like that after it uh, for the back there. Once that's done, we're going to go back up to the front and we're going to go and start working our way out to the side. So going out to the sides here, we're going to place down a sign coming off this dark oak wood slab. And then we then want to place down a zombie head coming off this dark oak wood stair. After that, so I'm going to place down three mossy cobblestone walls back, followed by a green terracotta block. And then we want to place down another brick top slab. Once that's done, we're going to place down a green terracotta block back, followed by one and two polished anisite blocks, a gray concrete block, and then again, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty polished anisite blocks back on this dark or this narrow brick stair here. We're gonna place down a narrow brick corner stair um, on both sides of it. Going back from the narrow brick corner stair, we're gonna place down one more regular stair like this, and then a another brick slab coming off that narrow brick stair. Uh, for our next row, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. Now, at this point right here, you can choose to go ahead and do some numbering on the side of the fuselage. So you can go ahead and choose whatever you want to do. Um, and you can just go ahead and simply put down two uh, banners here, one on this polished anisite block and one right here. Um, and this right here will be the unit number. Um, if you want to go ahead and go three, um, you can also go ahead and put down a banner right there. So for this, you're going to want to have light gray banners with um, red writing. So just like that over there. I'm not going to show you guys how to do the banners I did over there. As I will be linking a tutorial down in the description. I'll show you guys how to um, do numbered banners and lettered banners for yourself. So if you want to go and do something fancy there on the side, you can um, obviously refer to those tutorials. Or if you know how to already do it, go crazy. Um, but yeah, that's what you guys want to have. Um, basically right here and I'll just go ahead and grab these numbers from over here and we have uh, 10 on the side here. Um, so with that done, uh, we then want to go ahead and uh, work our way back. So we're going to go to this, um, we're going to go and go to this third polished anisite block back from this gray concrete block and we're going to place down a end rod coming off of it to the side. Once that's done, we're going to go to this stone brick stair here, place down a stone brick stair on top of it, followed by a black wool block behind it. We then want to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, polished, or, uh, 17, 18, 19, and 20 polished anisite blocks back, followed by a glowstone block, a orange stained glass block, and then 1 and 2. Narrow brick tops that is back like that. Going back up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and go to the side of this end rod right here. We're going to place down a polished anisite block coming off of it to the side. Followed by a stone brick upside down stair coming off of it toward the front, and then a stone brick top slab. Going back from this polished anisite block, we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Polish dance side blocks back. We're going to then place down a stone brick stair. And come off the stone brick stair, we're going to go back 1, 2, and 3. Uh, regular stone brick stairs. So this turns into a corner stair. And then we have 3 stone brick stairs like that going back. Uh, we then want to place down a row of 1 and 2. Narrow brick stairs along the side here. And then a narrow brick slab like that to kind of wrap up the back here of these engines. Uh, when that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron trap doors. We want to go ahead and go to the middle four um, stone brick top slabs here and place down iron trap doors on top of them. We then want to go ahead and go to the middle three, one, two, and three. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the middle three again. So this row of five, one, two, and three. And then we just want to go ahead and place down one coming off the middle iron trap door like that. So you have a design that looks like that on the horizontal stabilizers. So this gives it a little bit more, uh, I guess, beef to it, um, I guess is what you could say. Um, so with that uh, done there, that's our horizontal stabilizers finished off, and it's time to get into the wings a bit. So for our wings here, we're going to start off by placing down a stone brick slab on top of this quartz top slab here in the front. After that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick stair going back from it, and we then want to take our polished dance set blocks and go, or sorry, cobblestone walls, sorry, and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, um, yeah, yeah, six cobblestone walls back from that stone brick stair. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to the second cobblestone wall from the front here and place down a stone brick top slab out to the side. Uh, from this stone brick top slab, we're going to go ahead and go back one, one, two, three, four, five, and six stone brick top slabs back, and then we want to go ahead and place down a row of two of stone uh, top slabs. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go out to the side again, place down a stone brick top slab. We have one, two, three, four, and five back, and then one and two stone top slabs back like after that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go up to the uh, front here again, stone brick top slab off to this one from here, go back one, two, three, four, and five, and then two stone top slabs back like that. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to go ahead and go out to the side again, second stone brick top slab here, place down a stone brick top slab, one, two, and three back, and then we want to place down a brick top slab, stone brick top slab, and then two uh, stone top slabs back. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab that's going to kind of drop down from the second top slab here. So a stone brick slab that goes down like that. Um, after that's done, we're going to place down a row of uh, what is going to be, let me just go ahead and check here. It's going to be a row, it's going to be a stone brick stair facing this direction. So coming off of this slab here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair facing that direction, and then you're going back from the stair, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two stairs like this, so this turns into a corner stair, two regular stairs, and then after those two regular stairs there, we're going to place down two stone slabs back like that. Um, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and go to the corner stair here, stone brick slab out to the side, one and two back, and then one, two stone slabs back from that. Our next row out to the side, we're going to go ahead and do a indent from the front here, so one, and then two, three, and four. Stone brick slabs across there, so that's going to be a row of four there. Uh, we then want to go ahead and do a row of three. So indent from the front here again, one, two, and three stone brick slabs. And then we get to this section here, we're going to place down two polished DSA blocks on top of these two stone brick top slabs, a stone brick stair on the back here, and a stone brick slab going toward the front there for this little tip there of the wing. Anyways, you're going to take that same design we did over here on the right side and flip it over to the left side for the wings, and same thing for the fuselage here. And your fuselage will look something like this when you have that all complete. That right there is going to wrap up layer number five. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number six. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer six. For layer six to go ahead and get started here, we're gonna place down a wooden trap door on this second green terracotta block, uh, block back from this dark oak wood stair right up here in the front. We then wanna place down a dark oak wood slab after that wooden trap door, followed by a dark oak wood stair. We then wanna place down two black wool blocks back. If you remember back to our previous layer, we set aside this space open for a cockpit. If you want to go ahead and, uh, you know, leave that space open, we can just go ahead and make sure we leave six blocks of space open, or you can fill this in with six blocks of polished andesite, black wool, whatever you want to do. Anyways, we have that, those six blocks filled in. So currently back from this uh, dark oak wood stair, we have a total of eight blocks of space. We either have six open spaces and two black wool blocks, or just a little solid row of, uh, you know, black going back, whatever you want to do there. Uh, but basically from this uh, section here, we're then going to take our polished andesite, and we're going to be placing down a long row of polished andesite that's going to go all the way back here to the end, and it's going to be 26 blocks in length. Um, so basically from this open spot right here, this uh, open spot of six, we have 26 
Polish Dance Set blocks back. Stone Brick ups down stair and Stone Brick top step. And the top step should overhang and be on top of the Snare Brick stair like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front now and start working our way out to the sides. So for this, we're going to place down a zombie head at a kind of slight uh, th angle like that on both sides of the stair. So about a 30 degree angle on both sides like that. Uh, when that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick stair like this. And going back from the narrow brick stair, we're going to place down one and two regular stairs. So we have a corner stair, two regular stairs, and then a corner stair coming off this uh, second stair here. We're then going to take our polished dance side, go back one, two, three, four, five, six. Polished dance side blocks back, followed by a black wool block. We then want to place down one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Polished dance side blocks back, followed by a stone brick stair. We're then going to place down a stone brick slab, followed by a row of three of cobblestone walls back, and then that's going to wrap that row up right there. Our next row, we're going to go ahead and go up to the front. We're going to go ahead and go to this polished dance side block here, and we're going to place down a nether brick stair, or sorry, a nether brick slab coming off of it to the side. Going back from that nether brick slab, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this, followed by a second, and then a third after that, like that. And this third stair actually is going to be a corner stair. So, just like that. After that's done, going back from the corner stair, we're going to place down a row of, of uh, sorry, my bad, one and two polished dance side blocks back, and then a stone brick stair like that. After the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a black wool block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen polished dance side blocks back, a black wool block, polished dance side block, and then we're going to go ahead and go back. Uh, or sorry, my bad. We were getting a little bit too far ahead of ourselves. This black wool block actually is going to be a polished dance site block. And then we just want to go ahead and go back with another polished dance site block. So it's right next to the stone brick stair. Coming off the polished dance site block, a stone brick stair like this. And then one, two, um, stone brick slides back. And then two iron trap doors going back from that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here to our um, intakes on the side here. And place down a narrow brick slab out to the side here. We want to take our stone brick slabs, place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, or sorry, my bad, uh, six stone brick slabs back from that narrow brick slab there. We're going to place down a narrow brick slab, come off this black wool block, and then a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stone brick slabs back like that. After that, we're going to place down a stone brick stair face in this direction, like so, and going back from the stone brick stair, we're going to place down one and two stairs like this. So this turns into a corner stair. We then have two right there stairs like that. We're then going to place down two polished dancite blocks, a black wool block, polished dancite block, two black wool blocks, and then one, two, and three polished dancite blocks back like that. Uh, for a little bit of detailing here, for what would be like little writing and stuff like that on the tail, we're going to place down a stone button on these first two black wool blocks like that. Um, and then once that's all finished off there, you kind of have your fuselage all set up and ready to go, and we can start working our way out to these sides now. For the wings. So for this, we're going to go ahead and go to the stone brick slab right after this narrow brick slab here. We're going to place down a uh, skeleton skull coming off of it to the side there. We then want to go ahead and take our stone brick slabs. We're going to go ahead and go back one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven stone brick slabs back. And we're actually going to go ahead and go for a total of uh, twelve. And then we want to go ahead and take our uh, stone slabs and we're going to go ahead and place down one and two stone slabs back so it should be in line with the wing right here and it also should be right next to this first polished dance side block which is going to be the start here of our vertical uh, stabilizers right there as you can see. With that done uh, we're going to go ahead and go up to the uh, wing up here we're going to go ahead and go back to the third stone brick slab here and we want to go ahead and place down a uh, skeleton skull coming off the side of it. After that going back from the skeleton skull uh, we are going to be wanting to place down a row of stone brick slabs back. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stone brick slabs back, followed by two stone slabs like that. And then for our next row here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair. That's going to go on top of this cobblestone wall here. And then going back from the stone brick stair, we're going to go ahead and place down an additional one, two, three, four, five, um, and six stone brick stairs back, followed by a stone brick slab, and then two stone slabs going back after that. With that all done there, we're going to take some um, iron trap doors and for a little bit of shaping here on the wings, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six iron trap doors like that. And then we want to place down three coming off uh, that section there. So you have something that looks like this on the wing here. 
and that's going to obviously be transferred over to both sides there and you can really start to see the shape of the aircraft starting to take shape and um, so far looking really good that right there is going to finish off layer number six and with that we can move into layer seven before we go ahead and move on to layer seven i just want to go ahead and real quickly cover one thing i forgot to add in layer six and this is something up here in the front which is kind of easily missable if you are uh, not paying attention like i was but basically you want to go ahead and go to this narrow brick corner stair up in the front here place down a wither skeleton skull off the side and one end rod going forward you're gonna do the same thing here on both sides so you have something that looks just like that for the front there easy a little addition nothing major there so just go ahead and add that on and uh, you'll be pretty much good to go so with that let's go ahead and move on to layer seven all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer seven for layer seven to start off with we're going to go to the black wool block right behind the dark oak wood stair up in the front here we're going to place down a red stair up here with the notches flicked out to the sides like so <clears throat> we then want to place down a nether brick slab going back from it followed by a row of what is going to be seven uh uh, like gray stained glass full blocks like that which are going to basically be for the cockpit here after that we're going to place down a row of one two three four and five polished inside blocks back followed by two stone brick slabs a stone brick stair after the stone brick stair we're going to place down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen stone brick slabs back a stone brick stair followed by one two three and four polished inside blocks back and then a stone brick slab on top of this top slab here with uh, that all done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here and start working our way uh, along the side here. So along the first three light gray stained glass full blocks here, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, and three light gray stained glass panes, followed by a uh, stone brick stair and then a stone brick corner stair coming off of it. On these remaining two uh, light gray stained glass full blocks, we're going to place down two light gray stained glass panes, followed by a stone brick stair. And then after that stone brick stair, we're going to go back one, two, and three more stairs, and then a stone brick corner stair like that. After that's done, we're going to take iron trap doors. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen iron trap doors back like that. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We want to go ahead and go to this polished inside block right here, right before the stone brick stair. We're going to place down a redstone comparator on top of it like so. After that's done, we're going to go back here to the tail and work on the tail bit. So for the tail here, uh, we're going to go and place down an iron trap door on this polished andesite block right here, followed by a stone brick slab back. We then want to place down a polished andesite block, and then a row two of black wool blocks. On the side of these black wool blocks, we're going to place down two stone buttons on the outside, and on the inside here, to keep a kind of consistent gray color, we're going to place down two light gray banners on the inside there. After that's done, we're going to take our polished andesite, we're going to go, and go back one and two, polished andesite blocks back, we're going to take our stone slabs and place down one and two stone slab full blocks back like this. On the first stone slab blocks, we're going to place down a stone button on both sides and then a wooden sign here on the sides of these two stone slab full blocks. After that's all done, that's going to kind of get the horizontal stabilizers set up there. And uh, you can see we almost have the front up here complete as well. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up layer uh, seven. With that, let's move on to layer eight. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer eight. For layer 8 to go ahead and get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down a narrow brick slab on the second light gray stained glass block back. We then want to place down a stone brick stair like this so that it's back toward the narrow brick slab, followed by two stone brick slabs coming off the front of the stone brick stair. We then want to place down a row of four of iron trap doors back, followed by a redstone repeater with the notches flicked out to the sides after that fourth iron trap door. With that done, we're going to go back to this stone uh, brick stair here. We're going to place down a narrow brick fence post on top of it. And then going back to our tail, we're going to go ahead and continue work on the tail. So for this, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this black wool block here. We then want to go ahead and take our polished andesite, go back one and two polished andesite blocks, followed by a red terracotta block like that. And then on the inside here of the uh, tail, or the stabilizers here, we're going to place down a uh, light gray banner on the inside there. When that's done there, we're going to take our stone slabs, we're going to place down two stone slab full blocks like this, followed by a stone button on both sides of this stone slab full block, and then a wooden sign here on both sides of this stone slab full block like that, with a cobblestone wall coming off that stone slab full block like that toward the rear there. With that all done, that's going to do it there for our stabilizers, and you're going to take that same design and flip it over to the air side, obviously, and we have the front of the aircraft all done and complete as well. With that, we're going to move into our final layers here, which are going to basically consist of layers 9, 10, and 11. We're going to put the, basically the tip here of the vertical stabilizers on, and then it'll be up to us to move on to the landing gear for those of you wanting to build this la uh, landed. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into our final layers, 9 through 11. Alrighty guys, and going ahead and moving into our final layers, we have nine, layers 9 through 11. 
For these layers, we're going to go ahead and go to the back teal. You can see I already have the left one built up, so we're going to build up the right one, and it'll be up to you guys to just copy it over the left one. Straightforward stuff like we've been doing for the whole tutorial so far. We're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on this polished andesite block. We then want to go and go back from it, placing down a green terracotta block, followed by a row of two of polished andesite, so one and two polished andesite blocks back, and then a stone slab full block with a stone button on both sides like that. Once that's done, come off the stone slab full block and place down a cobblestone wall. For our next row up, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this polished andesite block here, followed by a uh, gray concrete block like this, going back from it, and a stone button here on both sides. We then want to place down two stone slab full blocks going back with a tripwire hook on both sides of the first um, block, and then we want to place down a sign on both sides of the second stone slab block. After that, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on this first stone slab full block on, up on top here, followed by a dark oak wood slab on both sides of it for the tips there of the vertical stabilizers. You're going to take that same design, flip it over to the other side, and you'll have both vertical stabilizers complete, and you'll have the design for the in-flight version of the MiG-31 complete. If you're going to be sticking around and building a landed version of this, or um, maybe having this coming in for landing with the landing gear extended, extended who knows, uh, we're going to be going ahead and moving on to how to modify this into the landed version now. Um, so that's it for the in-flight version. Let's move on to the landed version. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into the landing gear. Now, with our aircraft built, we should currently have it sitting somewhere like this on the ground. These missiles here on the bottom almost scraping it, but not quite. And uh, we have this going down from this half slab up here. We can go ahead and see that we have a total of two and a half uh, blocks of space between the aircraft and the ground. As long as that's all correct, then we are good to go ahead and build our landing gear. Now, if we're gonna start off with the front wheels here. So for our front wheels, we're gonna go ahead and go to this stone brick slab. We're gonna go ahead and break this stone brick slab in, in its place, placed on a stone brick stair. We then wanna go ahead and place down, or break out the next four stone brick slabs back. So one, two, three, and four. We then can go ahead and break the polished andesite blocks that are right above those stone brick top slabs. So we have a nice open area like so. We then want to place down a stone brick upside down stair like this toward the front here, followed by one, two, and three stone brick tops that was back. Going down from the stone brick stair right there in the middle, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some cobblestone walls, and we're going to place down a cobblestone wall that goes down from this stone brick stair like that. Coming off this cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a stone brick stair down like so, and then we're going to go ahead and take a sign and place down a wooden sign on both sides of this stair. Going down from the stair, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab like this, followed by a block of coal coming off that stone brick top slab to both sides with a stone button on the side of those blocks of coal. Uh, we can then go and grab ourselves a lever. We can place down a lever on this stone brick top slab and the lever flicked in to connect up to that stone brick stair there. After that's done, we're going to place down a uh, stone uh, slab back like this, followed by a stone top slab and then um, a stone uh, slab full block like that in that space for the little. Uh, I guess support arm that comes down like that <clears throat> For the front here we're going to place down a light gray banner coming off these two uh, Iron trap doors just like that and I believe uh, lost in the uh, moving of this uh, Landing gear and all that stuff from the previous version uh, Into its plot uh, we do want to place down an item frame on that stone brick stair and have a glass block in it for the landing gear light uh, with that done there, we want to go ahead and delete these two iron trap doors. And in its place, we're going to place down two stone brick stairs at the back of the, st of the stairs facing toward the outsides. And same thing over here as well, just like that, facing toward the outsides there for the uh, doors that open up for the landing gear to come out. And with that all done, that's going to do it there for the front wheel. And let's go ahead and move on to the rear landing gear. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into the rear landing gear. Now the MiG-31 has some of the most interesting and unique landing gear I think I've ever seen for the back wheels. It's very weird how it's actually set up that it kind of offsets the wheels and everything like that as you can see with this and that's pretty much what it looks like. It's kind of weird looking I know but that's how it is. It's kind of interesting and kind of unique I guess and definitely is a unique feature of this aircraft for sure. Anyways for us to go ahead and build uh, the landed ver or the landing gear back here we're going to need to break quite a bit into the hull of the aircraft. So for this, we're going to go ahead and count from this row right here. So we have the stone brick stair top slab. We're going to go ahead and count one, two, three, four, five, and to our sixth block back of polished dance We're going to delete this block and the stone brick top slab underneath it. We then want to delete these next three sections like this going back. We're then going to delete these polished dance blocks and iron trap doors all right here. 
Uh, we're gonna leave this uh, skeleton skull like this, and we also want to go ahead and continue back, breaking the uh, polished anti block here and iron trap door uh, next to this cobblestone wall right there. And we do not want to uh, break any further. We're gonna just go ahead and stop right there. Now at this point here, uh, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go up to the front section here. We're going to go ahead and take this stone brick slab. We're going to replace this with a stone brick upside down stair. Come off the back of the stone brick upside down stair and place down a uh, stone brick uh, slab. And then a stone brick top slab that comes down like that. We can then grab ourselves iron trap doors, place iron trap door on the bottom of the slab and also on top of this one right here. Um, once that's done there, we're going to take some light gray banners. We're going to place down one and two light gray banners on these two polished anisite blocks. We then want to go ahead and drop down, place down a stone brick upside down stair like this, and then going from the stone brick upside down stair, we're going to go and place down one and two upside down stairs over. So this stair here is a corner stair and we have two regular stairs like so. After that's done, we're going to go from this cobblestone wall. On the inside here, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall like this, and then we want to place down a stone brick upside down stair that goes down like that. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to go and place down a uh, stone brick stair that comes off of this stone brick stair and comes down at an angle like this. And on the bottom of this stone brick stair, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab. On the back of the stair, we're going to place down a lever like this. Going toward the front here, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, top slab like that. And we then want to go ahead and uh, place down a. Uh, after the stone brick top slab, we're going to place down a sign on the side here. And we're also going to place down a skeleton skull coming off that top slab going forward. Uh, on top of this, uh, this uh, skeleton skull, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, and then come off the cobblestone wall toward the leg here, we're going to place down a uh, stone top slab with a sign on the side of it. On top of the top slab, and also the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down two iron trap doors. We then want to go ahead and go into our creative menu, grab ourselves a nether brick stair, place a nether brick upside down stair, come off the, the skeleton skull like this, a stair on top of it, and then two upside down stairs right behind it like this. For that wheel right there. As we work our way to the back here, we're going to go and place down a uh, stone top slab coming off this uh, stone brick stair with a sign on the side of it. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone uh, brick top slab here on the bottom. And once we have that done, we're going to place down a narrow stone brick top slab back, followed by a stone slab like that on top of it. We then want to place down a narrow brick upside down stair like this, one stair on top of it, and then one and two stairs like that going toward the front. So go ahead and complete this wheel. Last thing for us to do is to go ahead and grab ourselves some narrow brick fence posts. So again, we'll go into our creative menu for that and we'll grab some narrow brick fence posts. We want to go ahead and basically go up from the stairs. So right on top of this narrow brick stair, we're going to place a fence post up like this and then one over at an angle like that for a little support um, brace that connects up to the gear and everything like that. And once you have that done, that's going to pretty much do it there for your landing gear. You're going to take this same design and replicate it over to the left side of the aircraft and you'll have your landing gear all complete. If you do want to go ahead and do a little bit more in terms of the inside here, you can go ahead and grab yourself some quartz blocks and you can switch the inner blocks here out for quartz to kind of give it more of a uh, look here. Just uh, note that you can't really change the top blocks obviously because they do show from the outside of the build. We do not want that uh, to be shown so you can go ahead and just swap those blocks out there to kind of create a little bit more of a you know look inside the aircraft type deal and um, all that anyways uh, that's going to pretty much do it there for the landing gear um, right there you're going to take that seam design and flip it over to the air side and let's see what it looks like when we have the landing gear complete uh, on both sides and as you guys can see we have the landing gear now uh, replicated on both sides and um, when you have that all complete, you're pretty much done with the landed version of the MiG-31. And with that, that's going to conclude my tutorial for the MiG-31 interceptor aircraft. Hopefully you guys uh, all enjoyed this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being a thing from the side of the build, to my channel or this video. If this does appear on social media sites, as long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Um, overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big thanks to Patreon supporter Brock Cherry for making this tutorial possible. And if you are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is me, Gear 204, and I'll see you guys next time.